you just stay seated. Oh. Nick, I don't know if I can sit. <laughs> you need to get up. Can I stand up there? I feel like I feel like I can do a better job standing. Okay, up. that's all right. That works. Okay. All it, I then I will too. I can do the answers. I can do the answer question. I just sit down. I feel like I can do the speech. Okay. That sounds good. All right, looks like we got a full house. Uh, I'm Nick Bowser, Executive Associate Athletic Director, Sports Information Director, and I want to welcome everybody for coming um, for, our, for our big announcement here. Uh, I'm going to introduce our Director of Athletics, Matt Steppen, um, who's going to uh, move on and, and introduce our new head football coach. Uh, and then uh, after they say a few words, we're going to open it up to questions um, from the media, uh, and then anybody else in the room who's got any questions would like to ask them of a... Uh, uh, Matt or coach, um, please feel free. So, uh, first off, uh, Matt Steppen. A little mic adjustment. It's a long ways from Nick to myself. Um, before we get started, just have a few thank yous um, that we want to we want to make sure that we recognize. Some people. First, a big, big thanks to Dr. Cook, uh, who was able to make it back tonight. Um, made special arrangements to make sure he made it back. Uh, anytime, as as a lot of times, a process like this gets started in a living room late at night, and this was no exception. I, I showed up over Christmas break, nine o'clock at night. Um, walked in the door and said, "We got some work ahead of us." And right from the right from the jump, it was uh, he, he made it very clear. That, that I'm behind you, I support you, and we'll do whatever we need to make sure that we get the right person in, uh, in for, into this spot. Uh, big thank you to the hiring committee. Um, this diverse and dedicated group pulled together, put their personal and professional lives on hold. Um, they challenged me. They, they stayed objective, uh, even through their own personal opinions. Uh, and always kept the good of the institution and the health of the program at the forefront. Um, it, was, it was an aggressive timeline that they were able to make up time along the way and, and uh, always kept the mission on their minds and um, really made me proud to be an ore digger because these people were, were true and true ore diggers. I uh, want, to, want to thank our campus leadership team. When, when we made the decision that we were going to put Coach Sampson through our on-campus interview, we had about an eight-hour time frame to get it all together, um, and, and our leadership team jumped to task. It, some of them were phone calls to their, to their homes at 8 o'clock at night, but uh, from our academic deans, Dean Trunowski and, and interim, interim Dean Vandeveer, uh, our campus services team, uh, Carrie Vath and her crew, Joe McClafferty and Michael Barth at the foundation, um, our incoming provost, Steve Gammon, and, and of course the chancellor, 
uh, it was unanimous across the board that you tell us when you need us and we'll be there. They understood the importance and uh, they rallied to task and it really made me proud to, be, to, to work here. Um, the, our, my colleagues in the athletic department, um, something like this can, can become all-encompassing for a period of time, uh, particularly Nick Bauscher, Sean Ryan, uh, Kylie Hamaker up in the foundation. Um, they stepped up to, to take on more than they already do, and in a small department, that's a lot. Uh, and the coaches in the department, Coach Hyatt, Coach Sand, they're in the middle of their own, their own championship quest, um, and this can, this can take over. So I want to say I appreciate you guys for, uh, for your support through this time. Uh, and that extends to my family as they, they walk in the door so I can embarrass them. Um, but uh, my wife and my kids, uh, we plan on a nice, quiet Christmas break. And I'm sure they're ready to have Dad back at night. And, and uh, I'm sure they're ready to talk about something else. Um, but uh, full-on support, and, and I can't ask for anything more than that. Um, lastly, uh, I want to thank Coach Morell and his family. Uh, over the last nine years, they, they built on a great program and put it at a championship level, um, and they did it the right way, putting integrity and, and academic prowess at the top of that list um, and left behind a championship legacy. One that, that over 100 people reached out to me and applied for this job because um, they, wanted, they wanted to pick up where, where Coach Merrill left off. And, and I can tell you, the cupboard is full. Um, so to Coach Merrill and his family, thank you from the beginning to the end. And, and most don't know this, and he'd never say it, but his last act of, of head coach was handing in a, a resignation without a job offer on his end or a contract and the ultimate leap of faith because that's what was right for this program and for that we'll be forever indebted. Um, when the committee and I first met, we set out with the challenge of finding what are the values we're looking for in our, in our next head coach. And what we, what we landed on is we want, a, we want a candidate, we want a coach that values a strong culture puts the individual over their production um, while embracing our academic priorities here. We wanted, a, we wanted a coach that has a championship mentality and who understands that, that we can win with, with high-achieving academic uh, student-athletes um, while recruiting the, and retaining the best and brightest that this institution expects. Um, and a big thing for the committee, we wanted someone that wanted to be a part of this family. Um, it was more than just a good opportunity, a good job opportunity. Someone that wanted to be part of the Montana Tech family. Someone that wanted to be part of the Butte family. And I don't know that there's a better way to describe our, our next head coach than family. And I know it's something he talks a lot about, but um, uh, when, when Coach Sampson showed up a year ago, it was, it was clear... Right from, the, right from the jump that they fit. He fits what we do here. His family fits what this community stands for. Um, the first night that my wife had an opportunity to meet Brooke, we walked away and she said, it feels like I've known her forever. Um, and it just felt right. Um, we put him through the ringer over the last few weeks and through, through a 12-hour a, a interview um, where the committee picked him apart. They questioned his motives. They questioned his integrity. They questioned his loyalty. Um, and they did so not because those things were called into question, but because those are the things that matter. Um, and we walked out of there, and it was, it was a clear decision from there. So um, when we talk about family, and I, and, I, and I mentioned before, this is a unique and special occasion. This is only the third time in 33 years we've introduced a head coach. Um, and that's, that's what works here. That's what, who we are, and that's what works for us. And that's what, that's what family's about. And, and I look out, and I see uh, Jen Morell here, and I see uh, Pam Green and Mr. Pam Green here. Um, that's very evident. Um, so I'm, ex I'm extremely excited uh, to work hand-in-hand -hand with our, our, our newest family member, Coach Kyle Sampson.
you had to you had to hire it. I got to lower it down back to my height. Uh, I really want to say thank you for everybody for being here today. Um, I'm extremely honored and proud to, to be the head coach here at Montana Tech. Um, I can't thank uh, Dr. Cook, Mr. Steppen, and the hiring committee uh, for this great opportunity for myself and my family, and, and more importantly, for believing in me and my vision for this program and this school. I know that we're going to always be successful here because we have tremendous administration and they care deeply about this school and the town of Butte. Um, I can't wait to get to work with these awesome people um, that are here today, and I couldn't dream of a better situation to be able to work with this tech family day in and day out. I'm a big believer that you win and you're successful, not because of what you have, but the people that you're with. And I'm, I'm so proud to be a part of this family. Um, I have a lot of people I'd like to thank today, um, but I want to start um, with thanking my family and thanking them for all their love and support. Um, I love them very much and can't thank them for always being there for me. Um, I'd like to first start today with introducing, with introducing my family that's here. And I'd like to introduce my beautiful wife, Brooke, and my three kids, Troy, Jordan, and Bo. Uh, if you guys could just please come stand up, and, and I want to introduce yourself. And this, this is the Samson family right here. It's, it's very awesome for me to have these guys with me today. Um, I wouldn't be here without them. I wouldn't be here with, without your love and support, Brooke. Um, I couldn't ask for a better friend in life and such an amazing coach's wife. Uh, I wouldn't be here, and everybody that's in the coaching world understands the, the, the absolute, if you're going to be successful as a coach, you've got to be successful at home. And without her support and my kids' support, I wouldn't be here, and I thank you guys so much for that. Uh, we are so proud to have been welcomed into this great community a year ago. Um, it has been absolutely an honor to be, to be, to be here in Butte um, and to be a part of this school in this great town. We have made some tremendous friends that are here today with me, um, and I'm proud to see you guys here, and thank you for being here. Um, this community has been so good to my family and my kids, um, and I can't thank you enough for bringing, this, bringing us into this great community. I'd also like to thank my parents, who I know are watching today, um, my father, Mark, and my mom, Kelly. Um, I would say they're a huge reason why I'm here today. They instilled in me a work ethic and values from a very young age and always pushed me to be the best that I could be. They have had a huge influence on me as an athlete and as a coach, but more importantly, they taught me how to be a good person, a good husband, and a good father. The number one thing, though, that I think they did for me was they believed in me, and they always supported me. I want to personally thank Coach Morell and his family for giving me the opportunity to join this program a year ago and for his mentorship, mentorship of me in this past year, and also to Jen and your family for welcoming my family into this tech family. I wouldn't be here without Coach, and I know he's going to do great things at Fresno State. And all of us here at Tech are super excited to see his future, and we'll be here cheering for him and watching him every step of the way. I'd also like to thank Coach Green. I've known Coach for a very long time, and he's been a tremendous asset to me this last year and has helped me in many ways as a coach, a person, and a mentor. Thank you, Coach, for all you do for Montana Tech and our program, and I'm very excited to work with you in the future. I am so excited to be able to continue to build on traditions that have been built by Coach Green and Coach Morrell at this school. And I am walking into a tremendous situation because of those two men. Um, I, couldn't, I couldn't have imagined a better situation in my, in my first opportunity to be a head coach in the Frontier Conference. And it's because of the great people that have came before me. I want to thank our current players and our current staff here at Montana Tech. And I'm very humbled that a lot of them are here today. I want to thank you for your support throughout the past couple weeks. Uh, we've had tremendous, we have tremendous student athletes here at Montana Tech, and I'm so proud to be able to continue to work with them on a daily basis. I know we're going to be successful, not because of me, but because of the people I surround myself with. And I know with these great young men and the people in this room, the sky's the limit for our program. I really appreciate you guys being here today, and I'm super excited to see you guys compete in the weight room tomorrow morning. I want to thank the foundation board, and I want to thank the Ordiger alumni. You guys have set the bar extremely high here for the next generation of diggers that are sitting in this room and for myself and our staff. The pride and tradition that our alumni base is, has is second to none, in my opinion. 
and I'm very excited to be in the position to represent them and all they have done for this program. Very special to me, my best friend, J.J. Perino, is an alumni of this school and is in the Hall of Fame here at Tech. And it was one of the coolest things in my life to be able to call him the other night and let him know that I would be leading a program that he loves dearly. And I'm looking forward to meeting all the other great diggers of the past and working with them as well. I also want to thank all the faculty and staff here at Montana Tech. This is such an awesome campus community, and we are who we are. We are diggers because of the great people that work here. So many people have reached out and helped me throughout this last year, and especially in the past couple weeks. And I'm so excited to continue to build those great relationships throughout this campus community. This university is one of the tops in the country, and we will always strive to be the best students first and represent this great institution to the best of our ability on and off the field every day. I also want to thank my fellow coaching colleagues, uh, the fellow coaches in the, in the athletic department. Um, I'm so excited to be able to be a part of the family that they have built. And it, it's an honor to know that I'm working with not only great coaches, but more importantly, great people. And I want to thank them for all their support of me in the past year and helping me out and then going into the future with the mentorship they've given me and more importantly, the friendship that they've given me and my family. I want to thank the media that's here today. I really appreciate all you guys that, that do a great job of spreading the great things that are happening on our campus and in this program. And I'm look, really looking forward to working closely with you all in the future and appreciate the friendships that we've built in the last year. I'd also like to thank all of my former coaches and teachers that have helped me get to where I am today. I really believe I am who I am because of the great mentors and leaders that I've been fortunate to work with and have helped me get to this point, and I thank them for that. I'd like to share with you guys a little bit of my vision for this program and, and my, my plan going forward uh, with this great team. The two things that, that we're going to be about and the two things that are, that are going to be our models here at Montana Tech is family. Mr. Stepan had talk, talked about that and count on me. And what does that mean? Family to me means whether it's the family that's in this room or our families that are home, our, our kids' families, our, our students' families, our athletic, our athletic team's families, is I want, them, I want this to be a second family to our student athletes. I want the Tech family, the Tech community here up on the, on the hill to be a great family. And I also want to reach out and be a great family to the community of Butte. Our motto of count on me, to me, is all about accountability. The kids have got to know they can count on me and our football staff to do the best we can for them every single day. And I've got to count on them, that they're going to meet me halfway. They've got to count on each other. And us as a tech community have got to count on each other that we're doing the right thing for this campus every single day. I'm a big believer in positive leadership. I'm a big believer in servant leadership. I don't ever want to ask anything of, of our players that I wouldn't ask of myself. Um, I'm a big believer in leading from the front and trying to do the, what's best for the program every single day. I believe it as a, as a coach, it's just like being a teacher. It all starts with building relationships. And to me, relationships are based on two things, love and trust. I want our players and I want them to know that we love them and we'll take care of them. And we're going to be there for them and always have their backs. And I want them to know they can trust me, and I know that I can trust them. One of my favorite quotes is, people want to know how much you care before they care how much you know. And that's something that our program is going to be about. I also believe that, we, that in my role as a head coach, i got to be a spark of energy and enthusiasm every single day. i got to set the tone for the program every day when I wake up. And how do we do that? I think it starts with being a great teacher. How do our players learn? What makes them learn best? I think the best coaches and some of the best people I've worked with are the best teachers. And they adapt their coaching style to the learner. I'm so excited to build great relationships on this campus and throughout the community of Butte. Community service and outreach is going to be a huge part of what we do and what we stand for. I'm extremely passionate about getting out and supporting the great community of Butte in any way that we can. I think it's an absolute vital and requirement for me and our staff, if we're going to play on this team, is getting out and being great in the community. We must be great representation of this campus and this great institution. One thing we're always going to talk about is, it, is having the mentality we wake up every day with a get-to mentality or a have-to mentality. 
Do we get to come out and invest in the community? Do we get to go to class every day and represent this school? Or do we have to? And to me, that's two totally different things. And I want our players and I want our staff to make sure every day we have a get-to mentality. And we're proud of that. We don't have to do anything. We get to. We have the opportunity. It's a privilege to be here at Montana Tech, not a right. I also believe that everybody in this room and everybody in the world has some sort of passion, something they're passionate about. I'm passionate about family, and I'm passionate about the great game of football. And I believe every morning when you wake up, you've got to light that fire. You've got to light that passion that you have inside of you. And as we all know, fire spreads. So we want to spread positivity and excitement every single day when we wake up. We do that with our body language. We do that with the way we talk. We do that with the way we communicate with people every single day. We're going to be relentlessly positive in everything we do here at Montana Tech. And that's not easy. It's not easy to be positive every single day. I believe it's easy to be negative. It's easy to go and worry about all the, the tough things that are going on in your life. And so my goal as a head coach is we're going to try to be relentlessly positive every single day, and we're going to face the adversity with a positive attitude. I think it's a choice you make every single day when you wake up. You make that attitude choice. When I met with the team the other night, which is a very awesome experience for myself, I told them there's three questions that, that I would ask of them and I would expect them to ask of me and our staff as the head coach here. And those three questions are pretty simple, but to me it's, it's what we're going to stand for. Number one, do you care about me? They got to know that I care about them. And I got to know they care about me. Number two, can I trust you? And the third one is, are you committed to excellence in all phases of your life? And I feel like if we can answer those three questions every day, coach to player, player to coach, coach to coach, and player to player, I think we're going to be successful. I'm very excited to, to recruit and to bring great student athletes to this school. My first goal, though, as a head coach, and that's been set before me with the previous two head coaches, we're going to win Butte. My number one goal is we're going to get the best kids out of this community, and we're going to give them to Montana Tech. I'm very excited about signing a couple studs from this community already and hoping to sign a couple more in the next couple days. We also want to win the state of Montana. I've been born and raised and lived in my whole life in this state, and I believe there's great, great football players and great student athletes in the state of Montana. We also do a, got to do a great job of finding the great fits for our out-of-state players. We've got some tremendous out-of-state players that are sitting in this room. But they've got to be great fits for Montana Tech. Academically, socially, and obviously they've got to be good football players. But the number one thing we're looking for is do they fit our culture. It takes a special type of person to succeed here at Tech. And it's so awesome to be able to have such a great academic institution to help us recruit when our kids know that a degree from Montana Tech is going to open so many opportunities and doors in their life, so much beyond playing the game of football. I'd like to end with a quote that's one of my favorite quotes that I shared with uh, the students the other night. And it's a quote about excellence. It's from a cadet in the U.S. military. It reads, Excellence is caring more than others think is wise. Risking more than others think is safe. Dreaming more than others think is practical. And expecting more than others think is possible. We want to strive for excellence every single day in this program. I thank you so much for being here today. And I'm so excited to be the head coach at Montana Tech and continue to raise my family here in Butte, Montana. Can't wait to get to work. Go Diggers. And I promise you can count on me. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's uh, definitely a, uh, you know, one of my top priorities right now um, is putting together, the, in my opinion, the, the best group of people first that fit Montana Tech and, and fit the same beliefs and values that I have. And, um, you know, there's definitely some people in, in my coaching tree and the people that I know that, that I've reached out to. Um, but I also believe we have a great group of people that are already here at Montana Tech. Um, and that's a, a key priority for me 
is to make sure that, you know, if I get this one chance to be the head coach here at Tech, I got to do it right the first time and surround myself with, with great people. Definitely. Um, you know, I, I came here and a uh, coach hired me and I got here in January 4th of last year, so about a year ago. And, um, you know, the best thing for me was, and, and, and the great thing was that our, our guys welcomed me right away. Um, and, and to me, I tried to do the best I could to build the relationships with those kids. Um, and we've got great kids, um, great kids on offense, great kids on defense. Um, you know, something that I, I tried to do is just build that relationship with them and um, so excited for the future. Um, I think we've got great kids. Um, you know, we graduated some great seniors this year who we're going to dearly miss. But I believe that uh, we've got some great kids coming up and, and great kids that got a lot of experience this year. Um, and I'm, I'm very excited to, to get to work and see what those guys can do with another year of experience underneath their belts. Coach, two years ago, you were the head coach of a high school team competing for a class double state championship. Last year, you come as an offensive coordinator. Now you're the head of a program that's arguably one of the best NAI football programs in the entire country. Yeah, it's been a it, it's been a, a very crazy couple of years uh, with uh, you know moving the family and getting to Butte, but uh, I believe I'm here because of the people I've been fortunate to work with. When I was at Flathead High School, um, we had a tremendous administration that they gave me the opportunity to go there in 2014. Um, I was able to put together a staff. Um, there was a great group of uh, of young men that helped me build the program at, at Flathead High School. And I had a great group of players that bought into what we were trying to do there. Um, and something that I'm very proud of is my time at Flathead High School. And I believe that uh, the success that we had there and the people that I, that I had with me allowed me to have this opportunity uh, to be hired by Coach Morrell. Um, and I'll be forever indebted for him for reaching out to me to come and work for him here at Tech. Um, and then now having an opportunity to be the head coach after, after a year. Um, you know, I jokingly with Coach, I said, you know, I, when, I, when, I, when I took the job, you know, I was looking forward to working with him and learning from him, and I didn't, I didn't really expect it to only be a year. I thought it would be a couple years, you know, maybe 10 years. Um, but the, the knowledge and, and the mentorship he's given me in the last year, um, I believe, has set me up uh, to be successful. And just to be able to be here for a year and, and get our family here um, and build relationships in this community has been has very vital to me in order to, to help me in this transition. Yeah, I think it starts with our school. Um, to me, this is the best institution in the state of Montana. And that's kids want to come here because they want to get a great degree. Um, and they want to meet great people. But to me, recruiting is relationships. Um, you build great relationships with the high school coaches, the counselors, um, having the ability to go into a home and meet with their parents and tell them the great things that we can offer them here at Montana Tech. Um, and I want to continue to do that, continue to build great relationships. Um, I think that in the last 10 years, that the state of Montana, I mean, you look at, and I was a high school coach, and there was so many great football players that, that have come to Tech. And so that's nothing new for me. That was, that's been laid before me many, many years before that. And I just hope to continue that success. And, and like I said, it's people. It's a people business. You've got to be able to build relationships with those people and, and communicate your values and your vision. And, and at the same time, they want to be a part of a great program. And this is a great program. Um, and we want to win championships here. And that's a... I know that's a, to be able to have the academic institution we have and the ability to recruit great kids to that and then have a people, you know, have a program where people want to win and be part of championship teams, uh, that's what we want to be about. Will you be calling plays on offense as a coach? Uh, yes. Uh, my plan is to continue to call plays. Um, and, uh, you know, that's a passion of mine that I have is, 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 is calling plays and, and game planning. And um, as the head coach, I do plan on continuing to, to call the plays on offense. Yeah, very, very humbling, very exciting. Um, honestly, just the last 48 hours, uh, you kind of got to pinch yourself and, and just uh, take a deep breath and say, you know, this is, this is pretty amazing. Um, and just can't thank the people enough that have given me the opportunity to be here um, and so excited to get to work. I've grown up in the Frontier Conference my whole life. I've uh, been around the state of Montana and Montana football. Um, and I just don't think there's a better opportunity 
and a better place to, to be a head coach than Montana Tech in, this, in the state of Montana. <laughs> well, he'll definitely be supporting me. I know that. Uh, you know, uh, I am I am the coach I am because of my father. Um, I was fortunate enough to to get to play for him in high school, and we were a part of three state championships together in high school. Um, and then, uh, you know, after my freshman year at the University of Montana, he was able to be the you know he got the job at Northern, and and so very I think very few people in the world get to play for their dad in high school and in college, and and some of the best memories of my life. I and mean, then he gave me the opportunity to coach for him. Um, for seven years at Northern. Um, but yeah, his leadership and his mentorship and the, and the success he's had as a football coach in Montana. Um, you know, many late night calls with him and in the last 48 hours, a lot of, a lot of calls with him to, to ask for advice and um, just sure appreciate everything he's done for me. Um, and you can bet he'll be at every Montana Tech game that he can be next year on the sidelines uh, cheering on the Diggers. Yeah, I think uh, I think any great coach is a lifelong learner, and they're trying to gain knowledge and and and, and get better every single year. And that's something that uh, you know we'll always be about here. Is that you know any coach that's working here, um, we're always going to try to get better every single day. And I'm not going to sit up here and tell you that I know everything because I don't. Um, I have confidence in myself and what I can bring to the table, but I also know that every day I got to get better. Um, and I'd expect the same out of out of our staff and our players. And um, you know I feel that. Uh, you know, my experiences in college and high school have taught me a lot. Um, and, uh, you know, I think I'm a better coach because of it. When the committee first opened up looking for a head coach, and, you know, it was known to you that you would have to kind of go through the same process as them despite the fact that you were on the staff. You know, how, how did you take that and just what were the steps that kind of led you to this point now? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, more than anything, just thankful for the opportunity to have the chance to interview. Um, you know, I don't think that in all situations internal candidates get that opportunity. So I'm thankful for that, and and I and I'm very thankful that, you know, I had to go through the process and I knew there was a process. I didn't want to be given anything. I wanted to earn it, um, and I feel like the the process that they've set forward, um, and the and the interview process that I was put through, I think that uh, I was able to share my vision and share my plan, and I think I was able to earn the job. And and that's what I appreciate from Mr. Steppen. And our and our community, our committee is that uh, you know they weren't just going to hand it over to me because uh, it's it's too big of a job and too much of a responsibility to do that. Um, but I feel like I, I earned the job. And if I uh, if I can tag in on that, um, and, and Coach Sampson, we've talked about this since the announcement, but uh, we could have we could have promoted right out of the gate. Um, it's not a reflection of of how we felt about him and his abilities, but. This job's worth it. This job's worth turning over every rock, and this job, uh, it's, it's worth um, searching every corner. Um, and, and I echo what Coach Sampson has to say. I think that uh, uh, it left no doubt. It left no doubt. And, and the committee, I know, felt the same way. Uh, the campus members, he got an opportunity to sit with through his interview. Um, it was unanimous in support of Coach Sampson. So I think it went a long way, not just in making sure but starting that process of building those important campus relationships as well. Well, you know, as, as I talked about before, uh, the committee kind of lined out uh, some, some really simple expectations. Number one, you know, we talked about uh, culture, campus, and community. Is he going to represent the program in the way that we expect with the utmost integrity and, and um, embrace our academic uh, priorities? Uh, coaches that have come before in, in, in any academic setting and try and work around academic settings doesn't seem to work, and, and that's not who we are, and that's not what's successful here. Uh, so that was a key priority. Um, the culture was, um, that's what Coach Sampson's about, the positivity, the energy. Uh, it's infectious. Sometimes I want to have a bad day, and he just doesn't let you do it, right? Um, it, it spreads like fire, as he says. Uh, community, uh, it's a big win for the, for the, the Butte community. Uh, it's got a young family, very invested in community. Um, and lastly, what we talked about over and over, because 
we had some really, really good candidates. Um, but we knew he wants to be here. Um, we talk about that. We don't expect any coach to sign in blood or sign a 10-year contract. And, and as I've said to him, you better work like you're, you're working for that next job. But you can tell the difference between someone who sees a great opportunity and someone who wants to be here. And that's important. That's what works. That's what's worked over the last 33 years here. Um, and so as a committee, those were the priorities we set. And, and uh, Coach Sampson checked every box, plus some. Yeah, I think it goes back to kind of my number one recruiting vision and plan is just relationships, building relationships with the, with the high schools in town and um, starting with the elementary schools. You know, I want people to, when they when they walk around town, I want them wearing, you know, digger shirts. And I, I want, when they're a little kid, I want them looking forward to coming up and watching us play. Um, I want our kids out in the community, which they already do, and we're going to try to do an even better job of that. Um, I want our players in, in, this commu in, in, this, in this community to be very tight. Um, but at the same time, I think showing them that, that we appreciate what they do in this town. And to me, um, there's been tremendous football players that have came out of this town. Some of those people are standing here today. And my goal is that we try to get the best players and the best people out of this town every year. Um, and we want them to stay in town and represent this great town of Butte and this great campus of Montana Tech. Anybody, uh, any other questions before we, before we bust out and get to work? Great. Well, thank you again, for everybody, for coming out and for, for the strong show of support. Um, go Diggers, and congrats once again to our, our next head coach, Coach Kyle Sampson.